Hi, I'm Matt from HockeyReviews.ca, and I had a lot of people ask me how to break in catching gloves, and because the E-Flex has a very specific way to break it in, I'm going to go over that right now and do this video. Um, so we're, we're going to do it on this, this optic one first, which is already pretty broken in, so it doesn't really matter. But basically what you need, you need a towel, you need obviously your glove, you need something to tie it closed, and if you have any spots that like need to be flattened out on the glove, you need a stick or a puck. I like using sticks because they're easier to get in there and they kind of, you can hold them in place when you tie it up. So it's a bit better for that. Now what we're going to do is we are going to use the hottest setting on your tap water you can. So it's steaming, put the entire glove in there, make sure it's soaking wet all the way through. Um, then you put your hand in there, close it, keep it sealed where, how you want it, tie it up. And basically you put it in a towel to make let it dry. Some people use weights. I don't really find you need weights if you tie it up tight enough. Uh, it works okay for me. This method is called the keeps method. It was originally uh, talked about on the goalie store bulletin board like many years ago. Um, so I'm just going to talk about that here and do it here because this is what I do. So we'll begin with this. Turn it on as hot as you can go. You can put it in now if you want so it gets a little bit more wet. I'm going to let it get a little hotter first. And you make sure the whole glove gets soaked. So all the palm, all the insides, all the plastic. Just get them nice and like really hot. So it will kind of uh, mold to your hand when you get it in there. And you'll see the steam coming off. Generally you want to do this when the glove doesn't smell bad because the heat will make it smell really bad. So you really soak it in there and get it really wet. So that's, you can usually leave it longer, but just for demonstration purpose, I'll take it out and it will obviously be dripping. So now what I would normally do is put my hand in there, but because of my finger, I'm not going to close it up and then you tie it. Usually it's nice to have another person here holding the glove. So if you have someone that can help, you can do it. But I've done this by myself many times before. Um, so it is what it is. So basically just tie it as tight as you can around this little loop, if I can actually get this thing to loop. And then you would knot it and you make sure the whole palm is completely sealed right there and there's no real gaps. So that's a pretty perfect closure. Um, so then you take it in the towel, wrap it up, put it in a bathtub or something, somewhere where you're okay with things getting wet. Um, and then you would be good to go. Then you basically just let it dry and you can do it again over and over again. I usually do it about two or three times per glove if I find it needs it. Some gloves I find don't need to be broken in at all. Uh, that was actually the case for this one and for like my 2X Pro. Um, for this E-Flex, it was a totally different thing. So let me get rid of this and we'll talk about the E-Flex. So the reason I wanted to do this video specifically was because of E-Flex gloves. So when I got this glove to begin with, it would close kind of like this. And I took about 20 different gloves off the shelf out of different retailers and I would close them and they would all close like this. Um, now my glove closes like this and it's pretty awesome. Um, but the reason they do that is because this piece right here sticks out too much and it interferes with the cuff. So it gets in the way. Um, so that was kind of disappointing. So what I ended up doing is I used a skate oven for this, but then after I used, after a few games, it went back to how it was. So I used the sink for it. Um, so what I did with the skate oven, I threw it in for about five minutes, um, but I would generally do it a little less, maybe about two minutes and make sure it's nice and warm in there. And you can kind of feel the materials getting softer. And then I put a hockey stick right in the cuff like this and I squeeze this closed. So the whole glove wasn't closed when I was doing this. It was just the palm area. So if we get that in there. Basically I did that and I would squeeze this as tight as I can and tie this part as tight as I can. So I didn't really care about the, the top part of the glove like up here. All I cared about was right here where that interference was happening because that would end up flattening out that hand piece right there. So that would get a little flatter. You could actually tell the difference before and after when you did it like when I did it the first time. Um, so I did that, tied it, left it for about 20 minutes until the glove was totally cooled down, checked it out again, and it was honestly like night and day afterwards. So it was pretty amazing. And then afterwards it closed perfectly, basically like that with no interference at all. Um, 
This glove felt awesome after I fixed that. Before I wasn't a huge fan, it was just okay. Then after that, it became like one of my favorite gloves for actual clothing. So if you have an E-Flex glove or if you have any CCM 600 brake, check out this spot. Chances are it will get in the way. If you use this method or use a uh, skate oven and a hockey stick to kind of flatten this little piece out right by your, your like, picky fingers, um, you'll get a better closure in the glove and kind of how it should be. So hopefully this video was helpful. I'll link uh, in the description an Instagram video of mine, which will have the before basically of this glove, before I did that and then the after. It's quite a big difference. I can't really show it off now because of my fingers, so I apologize for that. Um, but yeah, check that out in the description. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Remember to subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and like this video or dislike it. Hit the bell icon on YouTube so you get notified of my videos when they come out. And if you ever do make a purchase because of one of my videos, please reach out to the manufacturer and let them know. Helps me get on the radar so I can get more gears to do videos and stuff like this. So thank you very much and take it easy.